everyone, we are from group 10 and today me and my friend would like to talk about bioactive compound. So, are you ready? Let's, Let's go. go! Hi guys, I'm Inshira. I'm Iman. I'm Alicia. everyone have you heard the term of bioactive compounds if yes what is a bioactive compound bioactive compounds can be defined as phytochemicals which can be extracted from foods or food byproducts and are able to regulate metabolic functions leading to beneficial effects so what is actually phytochemicals phytochemicals is compounds that are produced by plants. It is then classified into two categories which is phenylic compounds and terpenoids. First, phenylic compounds are then classified into phenylic acids, flavonoids and tannins, whereas terpenoids are then classified into essential oil, diterpenoids and carotenoids. The first type of phenylic compounds is phenylic acid and as you can see, phenylic acid is a class of compounds formed by the substitution of hydrogen atoms on benzene rings. Phenylic acids are easily absorbed through the intestinal tract walls and they may benefit your health because they act as antioxidants, preventing cellular damage caused by free radical oxidation. For instance, phenylic compounds are abundant in red wine. Another type of phenylic compound is flavonoids. It is classified into subgroups based on their chemical structure. It also has many advantages, such as it aids in cellular activity regulation and the battle against free radicals that cause oxidative stress in the body. Certain flavonoids may also help to stop cancer cells from multiplying. For example, flavonoids are most abundant in various kinds of berries. Moving on to the second category of bioactive compounds, which is terpenoids. Terpenoids are hydrocarbons found in nature that are produced by a diverse range of plants and animals. Terpenoids have a variety of functional purposes including natural taste enhancers for food, perfumes in perfumery and aromatherapy in traditional and alternative medicine. Nevertheless, the most beneficial phytochemicals are beta-carotene and other carotenoids in fruits and vegetables. But we are going to focus on carotenoids better. Why? It provides many health benefits. They have strong cancer-fighting properties and some carotenoids are converted by the body to vitamin A, which is essential to vision and normal growth. Also, carotenoid-containing foods are often red, yellow or orange. Hence, this is why oranges has high content in carotenoids. Hey Ishi, how did you like the taste of my brother's freshly squeezed orange juice? Oh hi Alicia, it tastes awesome and I really like it. It sure tastes better compared to the pasteurized orange juice. Oh definitely, not even it tastes but also it is much healthier. Yes, I agree. Fresh orange juice contains beneficial bioactive compounds such as carotenoids and other nutrients compared to the pasteurized orange juice. Hmm, maybe it's got to have some relation in the aspect of the stability of the orange juice compound which may change during the process and storage. Mmm, yummy! Oh hi, it's Iman. It's fun right to learn how vast bioactive compound can be in terms of its structure, name, Type and one of the popular bioactive compounds that most of you guys may know is carotenoid. Orange juice is one of the food that contains carotenoid, but have you ever wondered on how stability of carotenoid in orange juice works on? Hmm. Don't worry, today me will explain more about the stability of carotenoid in orange juice. When talking about the stability of carotenoid, usually in large-scale production of orange juice, we focus on how we can prevent or minimize the loss during the processing and storage condition. 
Carotenoid may degrade easily during this condition due to some reactions that mostly are the isomerization and the oxidation reaction. Okay guys, let me bring you to know more about these two kinds of reaction. Alright, for the isomerization reaction of a carotenoid, it is a reaction of when the structure of transcarotenoid turn into cis. This can cause a new formation of isomers. As an example, in orange juice, we had a type of a carotenoid called as trans-beta-carotene which then turned into 15 cis beta carotene during the isomerization process. The transformation from trans to cis structure may be depend on some factor such as heat, light and the type of the carotenoid structure. The second reaction is the oxidation. Oxidation is divided into two which are the enzymatic and non-enzymatic oxidation. Oxidation reaction is a type of reaction that depends on the availability of oxygen and its carotenoid structure. It's also facilitated by some other factors such as heat, light, some metal, enzyme, and peroxide. Alright guys, how about now, we focus more into the factor of heat through the effect of stability in carotenoid as both reactions that I had mentioned before can be related on from this factor. Basically, due to the protection of juice metric, free form of carotenoid in orange juice such as phytoin, phytofluid, cis-phytofluid, xanthophyll, beta-carotene, and also psychopene in orange juice are mostly heat resistant. In the other hand, for s form of carotenoid, they are mostly thermally instable. Based on an article, only a trace of beta cryptoxanthin ester was found left in the end of heat treatment. While for the other s form of carotenoid, it was greatly degraded along the heat treatment. As I mentioned before, besides heat factor, there are also several factors that may contribute to the change of stability, bioavailability, and functionality of a carotenoid. But, need to remember guys, each type of the carotenoid present in the orange may be slightly different in terms of its stability to a specific aspect. As mentioned by my friend Ishira, carotenoid had various types and structure which based on an article, we found that there are in about 40 types of carotenoid can be found in Kerakera oranges. But how can we distinguish all of that compound, right? It seems really impossible. Hey Iman, I think we can indeed distinguish and study it more or less by conducting an analysis to the orange juice. Oh yeah, talking about the analysis, how about we hear it more from our friend Alicia? Hey, Alicia here. It was amazing to learn about the stability of carotenoid in orange juice from Iman, right? But have you ever wondered what the analysis of carotenoid in orange juice will be like? Don't worry, I've got your back. Let's look together into the analysis of our bioactive compound carotenoid in orange juice. There are three main steps of analysis to determine the carotenoid compound in orange juice which are extraction, separation, and identification. Let's go deeper on extraction first. Extraction method purposely done to separate targeted compounds filtered till dry and ready to be analyzed. Firstly, the juice mixed with extract solution in centrifuge tube. The mixture was centrifuged at specific RPM and time after being stirred to collect the liquid phase. The residue extracted twice by the same step to ensure that it is completely free of color. Then, the nonpolar supernatants are collected by combining liquid phase and washing using a separatory funnel. Lastly, the solvent supernatants were evaporated to dryness in a rotary evaporator, then reduced off and filtered for undergoing the next step of analysis. 
move into separation method and from now on, we got to know how carotenoid compound in oranges that had extract was analyzed with a specific technique of separation. Sounds interesting, right? So, let me tell you how HPLC of carotenoid in oranges will be like and with a look at a simple video on HPLC process. Here we go! The choice of technique used was high performance liquid chromatography HPLC, which is commonly used for mostly carotene analysis of orange juice. Briefly, the separation used a unique C30 reverse freeze column to separate carotenoid compounds such as 40 carotenoids using a gradient of water, methanol, and third butyl ether. C30 column provide better resolution between carotenoids with similar polarity. Carotenoids were elated in column packet using a gradient elution with light petroleum ether and specific mixture. The total carotenoid content in orange juice was roughly estimated and displayed on HPLC chromatogram. This figure shows the HPLC chromatogram of orange juice. Hey, it was the last step of analysis which definitely the identification of carotenoid in orange juice. Basically, at this step, the identification of orange juice carotenoid have been mainly carried out by comparison of the spectral data obtained with the standard reported in the literature, chromatographic illusion order, UV VIS, and lastly, mass spectral characteristic. So, the tendency of carotenoid identification was by considering the location of the absorption maxima with the highest peak. Hey guys, we have reached the end of this video. So now, let's conclude on what we have studied today. Okay girls, to sum up, we finally succeeded in going through knowledge about bioactive compound carotenoid in orange juice. We got to know about bioactive compounds, specifically carotenoids and its types and characteristics. We also got to hear more that in terms of stability during processing and storage of orange juice, different types of carotenoid may react towards different specific factors which can contribute to some reaction and cause some changes. Last but not least, the analysis step get us on how we can identify carotenoid in orange juice with just three main steps. I guess that was the end of our presentation. Thank you for lending us your aid. Goodbye! Goodbye.